day 20. Hey guys, this is Redhead Goes Healthy. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am on a 21 day reset challenge where I'm focusing on my mind, body, and soul. If you're interested in learning more about that, feel free to click the video above or just check out the daily goals posted below. We got two more days left on this challenge. I'm super excited. The finish line is right there. It's literally like tomorrow. So today we're just gonna get right into the mind, body, and soul components of the video. Tomorrow will be a weigh-in day, so be sure to tune in for that. So without further ado, let's go straight to the mind. All right, we're gonna finish this book. So it's gonna get a little weird. I, I will I will just preface it today and say that she has taken a mystical turn. And if you are a spiritual person, then you will absolutely love what she says and what she's doing here. If you are not a spiritual person, I don't think you're gonna like how the book ends. So let me just get right into it. For today's reading, she expands the way of integrity to include all of humanity. She argues that humanity as a whole is suffering from the dark wood of error syndrome, which I think is, is true. We live in a very divisive world. It's very polarized and it's very us versus them. But we can be the change that we want to see in the world. Pretty sure that was Gandhi. And when we change as individuals, it radiates outwards and affects the entire world. So even though it feels hopeless at times, especially when you turn on the news, she argues that we can actually move toward changing the world for the better and that it's not completely hopeless. Let me know in the comments how you feel about the world right now. Or do you feel like there's hope or do you feel like we're entering into some sort of like apocalyptic nightmare? I go, I go in between. It depends on the day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave you guys with a quote that I really, really liked. By following the way of integrity, we just might save ourselves. That is it for today. Nice, short, and sweet. And tomorrow we will finish the book. Now let's talk about the body. I thought I was gonna take it easy today, so I wanna start with that. I was like, let's just do a 30 minute ride on the bike and uh, let us you know, pick something that is gonna be like a simple ride. I ended up in a ride that pushed me further than I have ever gone before for the 30 minutes. I am kind of afraid to say this right now, but I know you guys will be fine if I don't end up following through on this. So far, I have been trying to do a very long Peloton ride at least once a week. Tomorrow, I'm hoping to do a 90 minute bike ride to celebrate this 21 day reset challenge, to make that like a big goal. So wish me luck. And if I don't do it, don't be mad at me. I know you won't. You guys are great. And finally, let's meditate together with the nature outside for the soul.
right, let's get into it here. Read 10 pages of the book. I did close the move ring today. It went up to 900 and I burned 2,700 calories. So that is a great day. Uh, one gallon of water, yes. And today was a regular calorie day and I did 1950, check. Meditate for five minutes, check. Film and upload an accountability video. I will see you guys for tomorrow's last day, day 21.